بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. This video is about the Tange rule, which is relevant for instance to low density parity check codes. We have a sequence of n independent Bernoulli random values. So for every k in the set from 1 to n, bk can take one of two values, 0 or 1. bk is equal to 1 with probability eta k and is equal to 0 with probability 1 minus eta k. Epsi k is the log likelihood ratio. It is the natural logarithm of the probability that bk is equal to 1 divided by the probability that bk is equal to 0. So epsi k is log eta k divided by 1 minus eta k. We are interested in alpha, the probability that the sequence of those Bernoulli random variables has an odd number of ones. If this probability is alpha, we define phi to be the logarithm of alpha, which is the probability that the sequence has an odd number of ones divided by 1 minus alpha, which is the probability that the sequence has an even number of ones. It turns out that phi and epsi 1, epsi 2, 2, epsi n have this relationship. They obey or satisfy the so-called Detange rule. As we can see, the expression involves the hyperbolic tangent function. Tange y is equal to e to the y minus e to the minus y divided by e to the y plus e to the minus y. We start the proof by constructing another sequence of random variables x1, x2, 2, xn. xk for every k in the set from 1 to n is 1 minus 2 bk. If bk is equal to 1, then xk is equal to 1 minus 2, that's minus 1. If bk is equal to 0, xk is 1 minus 0, that's 1. So xk is minus 1. If bk is 1, xk is 1. If bk is equal to 0. The probability that xk is 1 is the same as the probability that bk is 0, which is 1 minus eta k. Eta k is in the open interval from 0 to 1. Let's investigate the product x1, x2, 2, xn. We are multiplying ones and minus ones. If the sequence of the Bernoulli random variables contains an odd number of ones, then the sequence x1 to xn contains an odd number of minus ones. When we multiply x1 to xn, we will get minus one. The product is minus one if the number of bits equal to one is odd. If the number of bits equal to one is even, then the x sequence has an even number of minus ones. When we multiply the x's, we get one. Let's now investigate the expectation of this product. And we will do this in two ways. Thinking of this product as one random variable. What is its expectation? This is a two-valued random variable that is equal to one with probability one minus alpha, because the product is equal to one if the sequence of bits has an even number of ones. And this happens with probability 1 minus alpha. This random variable is equal to minus 1 with probability alpha. The expectation of this product is 1 minus alpha minus alpha. That's 1 minus 2 alpha. But we can compute this expectation in a different way. The Bernoulli random variables are independent. xk is a function of bk. The random variables x1 to xn are also independent of one another. The expectation of the product is the product of expectations. What is the expected value of xk? xk is equal to 1 with probability 1 minus eta k. And xk is equal to minus 1 with probability eta k. So this expectation here is 1 minus 2 eta k. It must be the case that these two quantities are equal. 1 minus 2 alpha is equal to the product k from 1 to n of 1 minus 2 eta k. We can move minus 2 alpha to the right-hand side, the product to the left-hand side, and then we can divide both sides by 2 to get this relationship between alpha and the eta's. Recall that epsi k is a log likelihood ratio. It's the natural logarithm of eta k over 1 minus eta k. Thus, e to the epsi k is equal to this ratio. We can multiply both sides by 1 minus eta k, and we can solve for eta k. We can write eta k as e to the epsi k divided by 1 plus e to the epsi k. Note that in this expression here, we have 1 minus 2 eta k. Using this, 1 minus 2 eta k is 1 plus e to the power epsi k minus 2 e to the epsi k divided by 1 plus e to the power epsi k. This is 1 minus e to the epsi k divided by 1 plus e to the epsi k. We can multiply the numerator and denominator by e to the minus epsi k over 2 to get this expression here.
This is the hyperbolic tangent function of minus epsi k over 2. This product here is product k from 1 to n, tangent minus epsi k over 2. Phi is log alpha over 1 minus alpha. We can do as above to write alpha as e to the phi divided by 1 plus e to the phi. 1 minus 2 alpha is e to the minus phi over 2 minus e to the phi over 2 divided by e to the minus phi over 2 plus e to the phi over 2. And this is tangent of minus alpha over 2. This is this sign here. That's it. This is exactly the result that we are interested in, the tangent rule.